Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob and I'm going to show you how to recalibrate your speedometer using the Hypertech speedometer calibrator. First off, make sure your vehicle isn't loaded down any heavy objects. Second, make sure you check all four tires and they're, make sure they're at the tire pressure that you like to run them at. Once you do that, you can use a tape measure and simply measure the tire height of all four tires. Once you've done that, take the average number and that will be the number that you enter in your Hypertech uh, recalibrator. So now we'll go to the vehicle and show you how to work the calibrator. Okay, so once you open up the box, this is what the Hypertech calibrator module looks like. Uh, pretty simple, you know, you plug it into it, there's only one way to do it. Um, once you're in your vehicle, close the door, lock it so that no one can open up the doors to interrupt the process of calibrating. Turn off all electronics inside your vehicle. You don't want any extra pull on your engine. Once you've done that, start your truck or car. Uh, plug this in to the computer control module, which is on most vehicles underneath the dash. Um, but make sure you look up or just look around your vehicle. You should be able to find a plug similar to this. So you'll plug it in and then just simply follow the prompts on Hypertech. They've made it very easy to do that. Um, that average number that we took um, for measuring all four tire heights, that is the number that you will enter in to your recalibrator. It won't be the actual tire size that is listed on your tire. Um, so it should take around five minutes to uh, do the process. Once you're done, turn your vehicle off. You should be able to start it or leave or drive wherever, uh, test it out. This is uh, the fastest method I found to recalibrating my vehicle. Okay, so some key takeaways. Some of you may be wondering, why would I recalibrate my speedometer? I know roughly how fast I'm going at different speeds. Um, if you have anyone else driving your vehicle on a road trip, you never know. Um, I've gotten a ticket driving someone else's vehicle not knowing it. And uh, you know, it's nice to have your, your speedometer accurate. Your odometer um, as well will be accurate, otherwise you really don't know your total miles for your vehicle. Um, so that's another reason why you would do it. Also if you're increasing your tire size, um, like you're getting larger tires like I have here, it's um, best to recalibrate because that tire is actually you know, a longer revolution to turn. And so that's what causes your speedometer to be off. Well, not, not only does that, but it actually puts extra strain on your transmission. So your vehicle will change its uh, gearing ratio to adapt to that tire size. And if you don't do that, you could potentially um, damage your transmission. And I have also experienced that as well, personally. Um, <clears throat> really, um, these are the main points on why you would do it. It can affect your vehicle. Um, and it is nice to have your speedometer be accurate. Miles per gallon? Does that affect it? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs>